Hi, one of my readers has asked how you can put the function lane on the other side of the swim lane too. So I'll just show you how it can be done. First of all, you need to create your new template for yourself. So here's, I've just opened up an existing one and I'm going to open up the show document stencil here. So here I've got the swim lane, as you can see, in local master. And I'm going to edit this master. So first thing to do is go to the master properties and do match master by name on drop. What that means is that from now on it won't matter if I've modified this one and I, somebody goes and drags and drops from here, it's still going to use my modified one, which is in the document stencil. So these ones that are down there at the moment are an instance of this local master. So I'm going to open up this local master here and have a look. Well, this is not very impressive here in the way that we can see the, the master drawing page is actually smaller than the uh, shape that we've got there. So I'm just going to hold down the control key and I'm just going to drag out the page dynamically on the corners just because uh, by having it like this, that the page is actually bigger than the master shape itself. I can do control shift W and it will get uh, to show me that uh, whole view rather than just focus on the middle there. So now if I go and look in the swim lane shape itself, we can see that there are a couple of shapes there. There's a sheet dot six and a sheet dot seven. Now sheet dot seven is the one that we want to duplicate and have it on the other side of there too. Okay, so we have to uh, make some decisions what we want to do. And I'm, suggest, I'm going to suggest that it's probably best that we rotate it or rather mirror it uh, uh, when we move it over to that side so that anything that we use uh, within the styles is going to apply in a similar manner uh, to the one on the left hand side. So the next thing I want to do is to open up this um, group shape uh, so that I can go and duplicate that one there. So I'm going to go to my, I've got the developer tab and I've added in some extras. If you wanted to do that, you can customize the ribbon, you can go to the ribbon and you can add in an extra group here as I've got inside of it. And one thing I like to put in there is edit object because this edit object will give me the ability of when I select a group object and pressing on that, it opens up that shape now that group. So now I can get hold of this one here and I'm going to do control D to, to duplicate it. So you think, well, it looks the same, but it's subtly different. So now I'm going to go into the shape sheet of this and have a look at this particular uh, shape. And why don't I uh, just do a view, uh, arrange all so we can see a bit more what's going on. I don't actually need that for now. So we've got uh, that there on the left hand side is the shape that I'm about to edit and on the right hand side is the shape sheet. At the moment I've got the values showing and if we look at the values here we can see the width is 30 and the height is 10. Right so that's because that shape has actually been rotated at an angle of 90 degrees. Right so the pin X is the um, position of this shape from the left hand side uh, so that's five millimeters in in this case because I'm I'm doing this looking at this in metric so and this is the one first bit that I want to change so I'm going to look at the formula for this which I could go and look at the formulas this way or when I click in it we can see there's a formula up there so if we look at that formula in there we've got various settings for if the heading position is one, two, three, etc. The one I'm interested in here, I think is going to be, well, here, if it's giving me height times 0.5, you now I know that that height is uh, 10 millimeters and that's five millimeters in. So I think if I did sheet dot five uh, width and then do minus, it should move it over to the other side, like so. And I say, I, I think I should really flip this in 
Well, I think it's got to be the y dimension uh, direction here because it's rotated. So I'm going to do that to true. The the text has been set to stay reading from the right, which I think is correct. But there are some ad, uh, in adornments uh, which will show it the right way around by by doing that, I think. So now I've got that in there. Uh, I think that I'm possibly good to go. But there is one other thing here to consider, and that is currently this text uh, is not is going to be different to that text. So one thing I can do is link the text in the one on the right to the text in the one on the left. So I'm just clicking on that shape on the left hand side and on the developer tab I'm going to have a look at what the ID is. It's sheet.7 as you can see there is the name but it's ID is 7 there. So I'm going to go to uh, this one here so that it reflects the text that's in the left hand side directly. So with that selected, I can go into insert field and in custom formula, I could put in sheet.7. Uh, sorry, I could do it as shape text sheet.7. So if I do shape uh, text and then it's the shape sheet.7, the text, I can put that in like so. Now, I don't want anybody to edit that so I'm going to also put in a uh, I don't need to put a guard in here because I'm going to uh, yeah what's better to do is actually stop the text being edited directly so I'll leave that there shape dot text right and do that so it looks the same but on the protection I'm going to go to a lock text edit which is here somewhere just there turn that to one so now that uh, is going to be whatever the text is on the left hand side. So if I now just close that and close that, right, and if I open these up, uh, that is now my master shape. Close that. Right. So now you're thinking, well, that looks a bit wrong. Well, that's just because it's the previous one. If I go and drag in another one like that you see it's correct and I can take these two out from here all right uh, I cannot delete all separate I didn't want to I just wanted that one I clicked on the wrong thing but two in so now I've got that and if I'm right here I should be able to type in a here and you see the text on the right hand side is also a and that is b so now I've got that and going back to the cross-functional flowchart hopefully the style Okay, to that, that's the person's add in. Then hopefully, there we go. We can see that it's giving me the adornments uh, mirrored to the ones on the left hand side. So, all I need to do now is basically, uh, well, I'll put that back as it was, maybe control Z on that. Right, uh, yeah, I should leave it as two. Right, I can close down the document stencil now, and I can now save that as a template. So all you need to do now is save that as a custom template, wherever you want to do as a VSDX. And that is how you can create yourself a swim lane, which has got the function names on both sides. Thank you.